happy to see you. So much people in this room. Just a little bit background about me, because when you see Yahoo in this area, you can see, whoa, <laughs> we are not web developer. We are developing real product, strong product. So maybe. So just a little background about uh, for me. Uh, 15 years ago, I work in a, in now called MBDA. It was not called like this, but I was on military product. So I'm used to work on uh, <clears throat> on embedded software, and I, I use the DO 178 and things like this. And just before Yahoo, I also worked. I was a manager of uh, emergency shutdown system for a nuclear plant. So it's not the same uh, norm to you to use, but you can find some similarity. So the topic today is to <coughs> speak about documentation. Please stay in the room, don't leave. <laughs> OK, what I would like you to take out, two things. Uh, it will not be, I will not explain some, give you some tools or, or really practice, but more uh, two areas of my presentation. First one is an agile way to think about documentation. How you can reuse some agile thinking to do and maintain documentation. And also effective ideas and practices. So I will use an uh, example coming from Yahoo and <laughs> from my experience uh, uh, on software for the nuclear plant. So you can pick, you can pick some ideas from, from all this idea. Of course, maybe you can think, it, oh, it will not work for me. That's not at all a problem when you have an agile man mindset. <coughs> agile, agile is not you have to do this like this. It gives you a framework, and after it gives you some flexibility about how you are applying the framework. Same thing for, <coughs> for the documentation. OK, Scrum documentation. <coughs> the challenges we can see, of course, we know that documentation is time and cost consuming to create, of course, but to maintain more we are maintaining our documentation. Uh, we are ma if you think that a, a source code is documentation, it's a kind of document, you can imagine you spend your time moving in your code source. And sometimes you change something. But most of the time you are reading and you are changing something. So you are maintaining more than creating something. OK, monitoring is also a challenge. How do you manage version? How do you manage access? to this document, okay, he's, he's, he's in the room, this office uh, somewhere, but nobody knows, so you use the wrong one and things like this. And of course, delivery. Uh, this is also another <coughs> challenge because you can validate your software, you can use for more approach, you can use TDD, you, can, you have a lot of practices, but to validate a document is automatically, it's quite difficult. <laughs> so you need a human approach to this, but I, I will propose some ideas of this. Of, uh, of course, ownership. Who owns a document? Is it clear in your company? Sometimes it's difficult. So I like this word of Jim Highsmith also about documentation. So don't confuse documentation with understanding. It means that you have a lot of tacit knowledge in a team, and you will not be able to transfer this knowledge by writing a document. You have to accept this situation and find other way to communicate this knowledge. So three guidelines if I can say that. Travel light, when you take a plane, you try to bring only a small, not luggage, but a small bag or something like this. You don't want to have to drop your bag. You don't have to have to wait, so you travel light. So documentation can be in the same way. I will use this, this word from Lean, because I am, I am pro I'm also promoting Lean. I really love, love this <laughs> approach. To be honest, much more than Agile, but we also have to use Agile to do projects. So automation, so it's automation with um, human touch, something like this. And of course, visibility, this is definitely an Agile, uh, an agile uh, principle. So travel light, what I mean by travel light. Try to keep in mind this, <coughs> this, uh, this idea, KISS. If you look on Wikipedia, you can find the definition of KISS. Keep it small and, si and simple. And if you are a manager, you can say, keep it simple, stupid. Depends. You can choose. You have 15 definitions of KISS in Wikipedia. The idea is always try to keep it small. When you have to do a documentation, keep it really small. So avoid 
all things you don't have to do. I will, the last slide of this presentation, I will give, I will give you a real practice to do that. But you have to always to keep this in mind. Yagni, I like also this one, and for me, reviewing a draft document is not waste. People don't want to spend time in reading documentation and reviewing documentation, so they wait for the final version. So in the final, final version, you have, I don't know, half of the information that are not useful. If you give a draft document quickly to someone, you can look at the document and say, okay, I like this, I don't, uh, so this, this area is missing, and things like this. So for me, reviewing a draft document is not waste. But as we don't like to do this, we try only to review the final version. So try to change your habits on this aspect. And something also comes from me, for me, the two A4 pages. You have to know that the process framework for Yahoo International, so it's Europe, Asia, a part of India and uh, Latin America, is, um, oh, sorry, is, 20, uh, is made only by two A4 pages. It's possible and don't write with smaller cases. <laughs> <laughs> I always challenge, especially in Yahoo, I always challenge a team to provide two pages document. It's difficult. I know it's really difficult. But if you think about it and you say, okay, I have only two pages. So you always find some way to keep, to stay in two pages. Of course, you can use diagrams. You can take photo. I would speak about this. You can, you can do a lot of things. Two pages, and okay, you have two pages, for example, for the high-level architecture of the software. You have black box, and you have also two pages for this black box, but not in the same document. So you can just open the document, the two pages you need at the moment you need it. Okay, this is for travel light. You see, it's just ID, but just to challenge, the idea of, of lean and agile is to always challenge yourself to find a better way to do something. So you have always to keep this in mind. OK, automation. <coughs> so we have some technical solution about this. For example, if you are in Yahoo, we are developing in Java. And of course, you, you can you have automatic tool like Javadoc to create some uh, low design uh, for your application. So you can do this kind of thing. It's put information at the <coughs> lowest level and automate the aggregation of this information for each upper level. So we have a lot of tools like this. OK, I just put Java log, but you can find a lot of tools like this. In Yahoo also, we automatically created all information related to a version. So we take information for the configuration, configuration management uh, database, for, from the Twiki, because we, we use Wiki. I, I, will, <laughs> I will speak about this. We take automatic information, and we created the release document for a version automatically. So it, it's at the lowest level, and shh, we take information. We, you spoke about this this morning, of good executable requirement or specification. You can use some language like FIT or some tool like Fitness. I was not aware of o, OZE, but I will, <laughs> I will search the web uh, as soon as I, I will, as I will be connected, just to, to know. But you can find this kind of information. Or it's what I call automation. You have a tool like Fitness. You describe your requirement, and you can execute your requirement. <coughs> 